Hey everybody, I'm Dave Pilkey and today we're gonna draw the Fair Fairy. So everybody grab something to draw with and something to draw on and let's get started. Now the Fair Fairy is one of the more complicated characters to draw in the Dogman universe. But if you do it step by step and you break it down into one piece at a time, it's not too difficult. So first, what we're going to start off with is her glasses. Start off by drawing the letter V and put two kind of loops down at the bottom. Now we're going to fill in the glasses and make them nice and thick. And then we draw a little half circle at the bottom for her nose. Now we want to give her a, a big grumpy frown. So that's kind of like a squiggly line down here. And then some more frown lines and some really angry lines between her eyes. And then we'll finish off her face with just a few more curved lines. Now when we get to the right side of her head, we're going to draw a big circle. This is, this is one of her puffy sleeves. Now we'll go over here and we'll start to draw her dress. We just go down like that and curve around. And then it's almost as if we're drawing water. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll go right up and we've got her dress finished. Now we'll draw another big puffy sleeve <laughs> right over here on the left side. And then up here we'll draw a nice fluffy cloud full of hair. Now over here we're going to draw some wings and they're just basically teardrop shapes. So you draw one big one and then over here a big one and a little one and another little one now you could draw little ridges in the wings just like this it's basically just one large curved line and two small lines And on top of her head, and make a little crown. Now we'll fill in her mouth to make her look super angry. Okay, now we're gonna draw one of her arms over here and it's just kind of a very thin curve. And then her hand is a very, very simple hand. Now, on this side of her body, we're going to draw her other hand. And instead of drawing her hand, we're going to put your friend and mine, Downward Dog. This is the Fair Fairy's puppet who she talks to a lot and argues with quite a bit. Downward Dog is just a simple sock puppet. He's got two eyes up here. You can draw his nose and his eyeballs. His tongue usually hangs out. And then two ears off in the back there. And then down here, we'll just draw a few lines to make it look like a sock. Now we're gonna decorate her sleeves with just a bunch of dots. And her dress has star shapes in it. And those are just basically X's and then 
sideways axes right on top of each other, basically just four lines. One going up and down, one going sideways, and two going diagonally. And in between the star shapes on her dress, we'll add more dots. Just fill it in with dots. And then at the bottom, we have her pointy little shoes. Just a curve up like that, and then another curve down there, and then her heels are basically just boxes. There. That wasn't so hard after all. Now, we'll have her floating in the air, and underneath her, we'll draw one of my new favorite characters, Molly. Molly is a little baby tadpole who really saves the day. I like her because she's not afraid to stand up for what is right. Even if everyone around her is doing, <laughs> doing the wrong thing, Molly is not afraid to go against the crowd and do the right thing. Okay, we'll just add a few stars here. And then some boxes here at the bottom to make it look like the city is beneath her. Inside the boxes, we just draw a few little squares for windows. And then, if you want to make it look kind of 3D, you can draw smaller boxes behind the city. This makes it look like there's even more buildings in the background, further away. And if you fill them in, and color them darker, they really look like they're off in the distance. When I fill in my cities, I always try to leave room for the windows in the background, so I don't fill the whole thing in. I'll just leave little windows here and there and fill everything in around them. This also gives it a nice effect because it looks like there are lights on in the city way in the background. And it's a very simple way of making your illustration look really dramatic. Oh, I forgot to draw the little stem on her glasses. Put one here and one over here. Hey, I hope you had fun today. Keep reading, keep writing, keep drawing, and I'll see you soon.